Well, hello everyone. The Ontario Garden here, back with another played up modding tutorial. I'm still a ghost, by the way. So, in today's tutorial, we're going to be automating grilled cheese. Grilled cheese was just released at the time of the recording of this video by Ms. Evil Canadian, who's also making tons of great modded dishes, by the way, for played up. And this is called grilled cheese. And if you look at this and say, what the heck is this contraption? And it is a contraption. Basically, over here, let's follow along with my mouse. This here is your typical making bread setup. You have your flour going to a grabber. You have your sink with your combiner making the dough ball going to a safety hob. Again, if, to make it full auto, you need to have a safety hob despite it taking a long time because it's slow. If you have a danger hob or any other hobs, it will burn and then it'll it'll break your whole system. Once it's done, again, you portion. You cannot portion directly from a safety hob because the last piece of bread that's on here will cook to toast and it'll portion to here and it'll break your whole system. Uh, so you have to have a grabber or something, a grabber going to a freezer or a grabber just going to this because this will never carry onto here. It'll just portion it onto it, if that makes sense. And then from here, it goes into the combiner. Now, now you may say, okay, grilled cheese. So how do you make grilled cheese? Well, it's two slices of bread, it's shredded cheese, and it's butter. This is a butter fridge here. And you may say, okay, well, how do you get two pieces of bread on? Well, the key, I've monkeyed with this a lot, a bunch of times, guys. So the way you got to do it is you don't want to actually have the bread going to the safety hub first. You want to have the bread going to the combiner. Because what will happen is I'm actually going to start it up right now because it's going to take a while for this to go through, of course. Is you want the cheese or the butter going to the safety hob first? It doesn't matter if it's if it's the cheese or the butter. It doesn't matter which one is sitting here first. Because what happens is the bread will come along. The first piece will portion, and it'll combine with the cheese, and then the second piece will combine with the cheese, which will be your sandwich. And then the butter you have to you have to portion the butter because butter comes as like a chunk or almost like a stick, I guess, and you have to portion it out. Um, you can't use like a full stick of butter you have to pat it out or whatever you call it you'll see how it works here so it's going to combine the first one uncooked grilled cheese second piece butter gets put on the top so it says uncooked grilled cheese ugc and it's going to turn to cgc cooked grilled cheese now this is because i have the um the uh, accessibility thing on that shows you what the color what the uh, the letters are so c so u is uncooked gc grilled cheese uncooked grilled cheese or c gc's cooked grilled cheese and down here you need to have a small grabber again you can negate having these three items right here you don't need to have the prep station you don't need to have these three things but if you don't you're only going to have one thing at a time and since this is a main dish you're going to be needing more than one every say five or six or eight seconds however long this actually takes so i suggest putting in a prep station you could even put another prep station here to have two of them in line or frozen preps however you want to have it or um change this setup to have a freezer here and basically you just back all this stuff up one space but basically if you don't count the portioner or the uh, excuse me the prep station part of this you're basically a five by four it's a pretty compact design uh you have one extra space here but i haven't been able to make it any more compact again these three things down here obviously are optional but highly recommended and then just let it gonna run as it does its thing and there you go and because you're portioning from this, you're not portioning it from the safety hob, you will always have a fresh loaf ready to go because you're not, again, you're not portioning it from here. So this, this here is always working. This is where it's being portioned as you see here. And because bread has 10 slices, but you're using two slices per grilled cheese, you're actually only getting five sandwiches out of one loaf of bread. So you are going through the loaves pretty quickly. Again, that's why having frozen prep stations or having some sort up here, some sort of freezer up here would be highly recommended. Um, just to cut down on downtime, but there you go. That is how you automate grilled cheese. It's very, it's straight to the point. Once you figure out the right order of combining things, you can't have the bread going to the safety hob. You can't do it that way. You can't combine. Like I tried it with having a combiner facing this combiner. That doesn't work. If you have a combiner here and here putting bread on, that doesn't work either. You have to do it the way I kind of said, you have to go bread, cheese, bread, butter. Like that's the order that you have to do it. Um, could you do it in a simpler conveyor belt design? Yes, maybe, well, no, you couldn't. This is the easiest way. Combine everything to the safety hob, as you see here. Because the bread is on the combiner, it will not go on to the safety hob until you until it combines. Let's just watch it one more time. It's gonna go bread, cheese, bread, cheese, bread, 
butter on top, and then it's going to cook because you need the, the butter to make the, uh, the the fried part of the grilled cheese. And there you go. So it, it's not the quickest dish in the world, but again, if you have frozen prep stations or freezers, you can modify this design as you see fit. But if you want the most compact grilled cheese design, here it is. Let's get out of this so you guys can take another look at it a little bit zoomed out. And there you go. Feel free to copy this as you like, modify it as you like. But to me, this is the best and most compact and most straightforward way to automate grilled cheese. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, hit that like button. Leave me a comment. Would you automate grilled cheese? It's quite difficult to make. You, you got to go bread, two slices of bread, bread, shredded cheese, bread again, butter, cook. It's, it's a big process to do when it's not automated. But here you go. Bunch of combiners, a bunch of preps, or a bunch of portioners, one mixer, and there you go. All right, guys, if you enjoyed this video, hit that subscribe button. It would really help out the channel, and I'll catch you guys in the next automation tutorial. Take care now.